you today. And first of all, congratulations. We thank Allah for allowing us to not just be alive on a Friday, but what's special about this day is what? It's the first Friday of Ramadan. And we are so thankful to Allah that we are allowed to live another Ramadan. So may Allah accept all of our efforts this month, inshallah, ameen. So I want to start with a very short story. So there was a king, and he was a good king. He wanted to throw a big festival for his subjects, and they loved him. They wanted to throw a great festival for him. So one of the things they decided to do in the festival was to have a big symphony. Do you know what a symphony is? It's like an orchestra. It's like a big band. They wanted to have a band, and they had drums. They had guitars. They had a lot of different types of uh, musical instruments in the orchestra. And so the day of the festival came, the king came out and the orchestra was playing and it was so beautiful. The music was so beautiful. It was just, everyone was like, oh, wow, it's so nice. And then as part of it, there was going to be, a, there was going to be a person who was going to sing. A singer was there. No one ever talked to the singer though. So they never knew if he was good or not. So imagine the orchestra is going so beautifully. It's all just, there's harmony and it's beautiful, and everyone's just loving it. And then the singer came up to the mic, and it was his turn to sing. And the singer had not practiced. So he came to the mic, he gets up to the mic, and he has to say his first uh, verse, which is, Oh, my king, like he's addressing the king. So everything's going beautifully, and then he goes, Oh, my king, and it was really bad. The singing was really bad. And everyone just stopped. Even the orchestra stopped. Everyone was like, what is that? They were just shocked. Because what happened is the orchestra was playing beautifully. And it was in harmony. But when the king, but when the man came who was singing and he sang way out of tune, way out of harmony, it disrupted the whole thing. The point of the story is this. We want to talk about some orchestras that we're part of and we're the singer. And we want to ask, are we singing well? And are we making the beautiful music even more beautiful? Or are we actually not doing that? And let's talk about a few examples. The first orchestra that we're a part of or symphony or concert that we're a part of is the entire universe. We have an orchestra that is composed of all of the planets, all that Allah created, the planets humans, angels. You guys know what ecosystems are, the water cycle, dirt, plants, animals. Everything is in harmony that Allah has created. He created everything in harmony. They're working together. The plants grow, and then some animals eat the plants, and it's always in balance. And then some animals eat those animals. And then the rain falls, and then the rain evaporates, become clouds again, and it becomes rain again. Allah created the entire universe in balance. He says, though, there is only one creation that has the ability to take this balance and make it imbalanced, and that is us. Just like that story, we're like the singers. So the question is, are we a good singer? When we come up to the mic, are we in sync? Are we in harmony with the beautiful music that is in this world? How are the ways we can be in sync? Is by treating the world as an amana, to trust, by being the khalifa of this world. How is it that we cannot do it? Simple. It's by throwing away stuff like not in the trash. It's by eating too much. It's by consuming too much. It's by, um, it's, it's by uh, just cutting things down without a reason. It's by pollution. You know, the more that you buy, the more that they have to create and the more pollution there is. So we have to learn to be in harmony with this beautiful creation that Allah created. And the way we do that is by living a life where we take care of nature and the world and understand we're not separate from it. We are a part of it. Allah created this so that these are all the different instruments. And we're the singer. And Allah is the king who created all of it. So when it's our turn, we're singing every day. Are we singing in tune with nature or are we singing out of tune? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. So the universe and all of creation is an amana. It's a trust. 
that Allah gave humans. And he says, I gave it to you to see whether you will be grateful and take care of it or whether you will cause issues and be out of sync and out of harmony. And because of that, you will end up destroying much of it. Now, there's other, many other different types of trusts or amanas that Allah has given us, many other different types of concerts. And there's one I want to mention here as well. Just as we said, there's the water cycle, there's the uh, soil, there's the animals, there's the plants. Another one is in ourselves. We have a symphony inside of us. Many of you all know we have a heart. Everyone know where your heart is? It's on your left-hand side. You have lungs. Lungs are on both sides. So you have a heart. You have lungs. You have all sorts of organs. You have more than that also. You have a circulatory system. You have a beautiful harmony that Allah created your body in. And the question is, do we take care of it? Are we good singers for the orchestra of our heart? Are we in harmony with our bodies? How do you get in harmony with your bodies? Well, Allah tells us the, way, the ways you do that, we all know. You eat right. You don't eat a lot of junk food. You take, make sure you sleep well. You don't stay on screens that long. You exercise. All of these things are ways that we take care of our body. Again, we're the singers and our body is the orchestra. So how do we take care of our body? Is that we make sure that we eat right, we exercise, we learn how to breathe. Those are our bodies are a part of our amana. Our minds are part of our amana also. They're a, they're a gift and they're a trust. How do we take care of our minds? How do we give thanks for our minds? It's by trying to think good thoughts and it's by taking care and learning things. It's by watching things that help us, watching things that we learn from. It's by going to school. It's by doing your homework. When you do your homework, you're that singer for your mind, but you're doing it in a beautiful way. And then there is another part of our bodies or about us. One is our bodies. We talked about our minds. And then another part of us is our spirit. Our spirit is an amana also. What is our spirit? The spirit is the part of us that we can't see, but it's what makes us alive. And when we die, it's our spirits that leave. Our body stays, but our spirits leave. So our spirits are an important part of who we are in an amana. And how do we take care of our spirits? How do we take care of our spirit? How do we make sure this beautiful orchestra that's playing inside our bodies, how do we make sure that our spirit is now singing in a good way? That's by doing things that Allah guides us to do and avoiding things that he tells us that are not good for us. So we take care of our spirits by praying, by fasting, by making dua, by thinking positive thoughts, by learning about the Prophet Sallallahu So the point of all of this is this. We all are part of, we all have amanas or trusts. And whether it's the amana and trust for the entire universe and the planet that we have to take care of, or it's the amana and trust of our own bodies, we have to take care of them. And Allah will judge us on how we did that. And there's more trust we can talk about. Your families. How do you take care of your families? Right? How do you make sure your house is clean? That's one of the ways you take care of it. Go tell your mom and dad. Make sure that you clean your rooms. Do a good job of that. But that's how you are in harmony now with your, with your, with your house as well. The beautiful thing about this is Ramadan brings all of this together. So we talked about body, mind, spirit, and entire earth. How does Ramadan help us to be better singers in each of these orchestras, each of these harmonies? How does it help us to take better care of the earth? In Ramadan, we don't eat as much. Do you know that 50% of food that is made is thrown away? 50% of the crops that are grown end up in the trash. Because many of them don't make it out of the farm. They get, their, they get rotten there. Some of them along the whole supply chain, they get rotten. 50% of food gets thrown in the trash. So when you are fasting and you're limiting your food, you're helping the earth that way. It's a very, very important thing. We learn in Ramadan that we can do with less. So Ramadan first teaches us how to take care of the earth by limiting the amount that we consume. Now let's talk about our bodies. 
How does Ramadan help our bodies? This is a beautiful thing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From his wisdom, he gave this beautiful, beautiful practice of Ramadan and fasting. How does Ramadan help our bodies? It's by eating less. Many, there are more people now in the earth that die because they are, they overeat than have not enough food to eat. So we take care of our bodies by eating less through fasting. So that's the earth, that's our bodies. Now let's talk about our minds. How does Ramadan help our minds? Hopefully during Ramadan, we're not spending as much time watching just cartoons or stuff like that. If you are, I encourage you, or just playing video games, tell your parents, say, hey, I want to learn about a story about the Prophet, peace be upon him. I want to learn a story about something that, you know, about, I want to learn something about fasting, about, about the Quran. During Ramadan, because we're not spending as much time eating, and because during Ramadan we're trying to draw closer to Allah, we stop doing things maybe that we may usually do, and we're spending more time with our minds, maybe thinking more. And that's a way that we can help our minds. Then the final thing is our spirits. How does Allah through Ramadan help us to improve our spirits and help us our, help our spirits to sing? First of all, Allah tells us in the Quran that Allah is between us and our hearts, meaning between us and you can say our spirits or consciousness. To get to our heart, we have to go through Allah. Just by fasting and praying, we are helping our spirits. By surrendering to Allah and submitting to Him, we're helping our spirits. By fasting and showing Allah that, look, Allah, I'm not going to eat, and you are now telling your nafs, your body wants to eat, and you say, no, we're not going to eat now. You submit to me because I submit to Allah. When you do that, you're helping to create discipline, and that helps your spirit. There's many other ways. Another one is zakah. As many of you know, we give zakah during Ramadan. By giving zakah, it purifies our, our spirit as well. So the point of today was this. If we go back to the story, we are all parts of many concerts. One of them is the earth, has a beautiful concert going on. And how are we singing? Are we singing in harmony with that concert or are we out of tune and messing it up? We also have in our own bodies, we have our mind, our body, and our spirits. And our goal is to live a life, especially through Ramadan, that allows us to, to allows us to be with our mind, with our body and our spirits, to treat them as the trust that they are from Allah and allow us to take care of them in a way that pleases Him. And as we do that, then Allah will give us more blessings and allow us to take even better care. So what I want to invite everyone, including myself, to do is for the moments that we have left in Ramadan, because it goes by quickly, is all of us, let's try to remember to be on our best behavior. Let's try our best to not annoy each other and not get easily annoyed. Let's be on our best. Let's also try to help our parents, make sure that we're keeping the house clean, help with getting food ready. And be grateful for everything. And through that, then, inshallah, Allah will allow us to be good khalifas, to be good caretakers of this earth, and be khalifas for our own selves, for our own mind, body, and spirits. So let's now ask Allah. We can all make dua together. We ask Allah that he grant us the ability to draw closer to him during this Ramadan. Ya Allah, we ask that you help us to draw closer to you during this Ramadan. Ya Rabbil Ameen. Ameen. Ya Allah, we ask that you guide us and protect us and help us during this Ramadan. Ya Allah. Ameen. Ya Allah, we ask that you accept all of our fasting, our dua, our prayers, our zakah, our sujood, our reading of Quran, all of the things that we're doing this Ramadan. Ya Allah, we ask that you accept them from us. Ya Rabbil Ameen. Ya Allah, we ask, Ya Allah, that you help our families, Ya Allah, with whatever needs helping, Ya Allah. We ask that you help all the Muslims in the world, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Allah. We ask that you help all the people in the world that are suffering during this Ramadan, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ease their suffering, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask that you help us, Ya Allah. Help them, Ya Allah, by doing zakah, Ya Allah, and volunteering if we can, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, you are Al-Hadi, you are the guide. We ask that you guide us. You are Al-Hafid, you are the protector. We ask that you protect us. Ya Allah, you al-Mujib, the one that accepts all of our efforts. We ask that you accept from us all of our efforts, Ya Allah. 
Ya Allah, we ask that you help us, Ya Allah, to be good caretakers of the earth and the universe and good caretakers of the blessings you gave us of our body, good caretakers of our minds, good take caretakers of our spirits, Ya Allah, and to be good caretakers as part of our families, inshallah. So, Amin, I pray you all have a great day and a great weekend. And keep us all in your dua, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Alaykum salam. Thank you, Brother Yasser. Alhamdulillah. Great reminders.